Hi guys, Zach here with another Commander Conquer Red Alert video. Sorry it's been quite a while, I have been wanting to post new videos, it's just I've had some uh, personal things get in the way of that um, at the moment, just trying to do too many things at once, I guess. In this game I'm playing a 2v2v2 match on the map Potholes, I'm starting in the top left and my teammate is starting in the top right. We are in a really good starting position on this map for this game. Since there's three teams, it's the worst place you could possibly start would be in the middle left or the middle right or the actual middle of the map because that means you're going to be attacked more by possibly both teams. Um, so considering we're both at the top, that's going to be pretty good for us at the start. Um, with three-way match, it's like a bit like free-for-alls. You always want to be out of trouble. And the teams in the middle are going to really struggle uh, because they could be attacked from either side. And you can see I've been a little bit careless there. Um, one of the pink has got into my base, so I'll have a bit more visibility on me. And I'm just getting my first ore refinery down. Um, you can see I've moved my MCV. I've put it in the middle of that area there because there are three ore patches in my area of the map. There's two to the bottom and one to the top right. So I'm go I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be trying to expand to the ore patch to the bottom right and then I'll try and expand up to the top right and use that ore patch as well. One of the things you want to be trying to do on ore only maps is just building up your economy so you can eventually get three war factories and that you can see I'm placing my first war factory down there and I'm going to build two ore trucks straight away. And actually, I've just noticed I've started building another war factory. I probably should have gone for a power plant and then an ore refinery, uh, but never mind. And I think I saw one of the enemies up there, so I'm just building a couple more troops just to help defend the different parts of the base and stop them getting as much visibility. The more visibility they have, the better they can plan the attacks against me. And I'm just sending, what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably have two of my ore trucks working on the right ore patch and two of them working on the bottom left one. It just means the ore will run out more slowly. And as we can see, uh, my teammate Deadeye, he's fighting Wah, who's probably the strongest player on this game. Um, so I am going to try and go and help him. And you can see already he's got quite a few heavy tanks. My start was probably a little bit delayed as well because... I did move my ore truck initially. So I'm just going to be sending some tanks over there. And you can see that Deadeye's going for the construction yard. I think you can see that he's outnumbered tanks wise. So he's just trying to do some damage to the buildings to give himself an advantage. So I'm just sending some tanks over there right now. And we can see his construction yard has gone down. So what I'm going to go for is the ore refinery. Because if I can get that down then that'll cut off his cash flow and he won't be able to build any more tanks and now you can see I've got my second ore refinery down there and I'm just going to build another ore refinery I'm um, going to be expanding to the top right I probably should have built some power plants first but I need to concentrate on this at the moment and what I'm trying to do here is just I can't beat all those tanks with what I've got at the moment but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to destroy his buildings so he needs to keep his tanks in his base and hopefully not attack my allies base and you can see he's got two tanks in there unfortunately and um, so that's going to make it a bit tricky for um, him at the moment and yeah you can see it's hurt my build and um, building um, that second war factory too early and um, so I haven't got tanks out as quickly as I would have liked and yeah I'm gonna have to pull that back and what I'm going to need to wait to get those new medium tanks um, to that side of the map. As you can see that tank's nearly dead. And I've got three other infantry. And the problem is Deadeye doesn't have anything to defend with at the moment. Um, but I'm just waiting for those tanks to get there. And what I'm going to be doing now is I'm just building ore refineries, building my economy. And I'm going to be waiting to get that third war factory and you can see that Waz sending all his tanks up so it's time for me to go in and destroy those buildings as quickly as possible unfortunately I don't think I've been able to save my ally um, but um, I'll be able to take him out of the game could be annoying if he comes around the back of my base at some point um, so we'll take out those two war factories and you can see 
he's been defeated. And also, I've just noticed that his teammate has also been defeated as well. So now it's me and Deadeye against uh, Nose and uh, the Green player, who's a player I don't know. And you can see my allies just got one War Factory left. So unfortunately, um, he's pretty much out of the game. He's got some infantry, so hopefully he'll be able to do some scouting. Team 2 were a little, little unlucky there. They were just in bad starting positions. Um, where I was like, well, he was sort of in between us. Two hours able to get him. And I think that must be where Matthias started. Uh, pink. So as you can see, he was also in a sort of middle position. Um, I know I didn't attack him. Because um, I was on the other side of him. But yeah, it's really hard when you're starting in those positions. And I think he, he actually got an infantry person into my base early on. So he would have known where I was. And he wouldn't have known which side he could defend from. So as you can see, I've got quite a good number of tanks. My economy is going pretty well now. And we can see there's Nose. And I'm just going to be sending as many tanks down as I can. And you can see, and then you can see Green's coming in as well. So Green looks like he's got quite a lot. I wasn't sure how, much, how hard they would have been damaged. Because they were fighting Matt early on. So I didn't know if he'd done some uh, damage. And you can see that Green's using a mixture of tanks and rocket launchers. Generally, I just tend to go for tanks. The rocket launchers do a lot of damage. They're very good against infantry, but they are very, very weak. You can see they just fall apart um, when you fire on them. And this isn't looking too good for me at the moment because I don't have enough tanks. Uh, you can see I'm a bit outnumbered. Um, Green's using heavy tanks. And Nose is using medium tanks like I am. Um, so there you can see I'm now getting my third war factory down which will increase my tank production uh, quite a bit. It's going to be hard though because I'm obviously going to be fighting two people so they have like uh, double the numbers. So even if they're on two war factories they'll be on two war factories each. Um, so they'll be able to produce more tanks in total. And you can see Green's wandering around a little bit at the moment and Cyan's coming up to attack me. Um, now... I'm sort of having a bit of an advantage at this point because he has to go through a narrow gap to get his tanks to me. So it's harder for him to group his tanks together initially. Although he's managed to get them all through at this point. But all the time what I'm doing is I'm just selecting all my units and sending any of the tanks that are remaining at my base into the fight. And as you can see I'm probably getting the upper hand at this point over Nose. I think Nose is probably on two war factories at the moment because you can, as you can see, I'm gaining a lot more tanks in there and I'm clearly got the upper hand at this point in time. What I am worried about is Green because they could come round the other side and you see that Green's actually gone back to Nose's base and which is sort of a good thing for me. What Green could do in this position, which would probably be more beneficial, is actually go around the back um, up north and then cross over to my base and that would cause me real problems because it's a lot easier for me to just fight at Nose's base rather than fight at my own base. Now I'm going to find it very very hard to win a match just tanks on tanks since they have two players so I'm just getting a bit of sight on Nose's base just to see if I can get any buildings and as you can see I've lost quite a bit there so I'm going to just have to pull out now. And it's a good job I have those three war factories built at the moment uh, because that's going to help with my tank building speed and I'm going to be able to group my units up. And I'm just going to have a look at alternative routes I can take to attack my enemies at this point. You can also see I'm getting quite a number of ore trucks in that top right place. There is a big, big ore patch there so I shouldn't run out of ore there. I'm just trying to keep on building, try and keep my economy going so I can keep up with that three war factory production and not run out of ore. And as you can see, yeah, my teammate's just uh, pointing to that point. I think what he, he's telling me is nose is coming up. So I'm just bringing my tanks back to that point right now. Yeah, nose probably was watching and saw if he sees me go down to the right, he's probably going to bring his tanks up like he is doing. And you can see he's probably going to go for buildings where well, I've got an ore refinery just uh, about to be built so I'll put that there so if I do lose that ore refinery I won't be and I'm just trying to build some pillboxes but as you can see I am running low on ore and that's a real problem for me now because I haven't been able to yeah I wasn't able to repair it at first because I was out of ore so that's uh, obviously I've lost that now um, but I'm still in a decent position. I do have a lot of ore refineries. I do have three war factories still. And my power's okay at the moment. 
And I mean, it doesn't really matter me losing that or refinery because I've just got another another four next to it. And I'm going to have to be careful here because you can see noses coming from either side of my base. I'm just going to keep some tanks up north because we saw those tanks um, go in that position. And I think what Nose is trying to do is trying to come at different directions at the moment and catch me off guard. So, and what he's, hope, what he's waiting for is he's waiting for me to go and attack his base. And when I go to attack his base, then he'll bring his tanks back in to fight against me. So I'll just destroy those two tanks there, get rid of them. And as you can see, he's funneling more tanks in uh, to this fight. But yeah, he's just not got enough tanks there. And actually, he's probably wasting a lot of tanks with this. Because as I've got more tanks, he's not going to be really doing much damage to me. And my tank numbers are just going to be growing and growing and growing. And as you can see, I've got quite a number. A large number of tanks compared to Nose at the moment. And we can see that Green has also got a number of uh, tanks and he seems to be on the move. So I'm just looking for the best option at the moment. You can see I've got loads of tanks. The problem is getting them all in to that position. Into a position where I can get them into his base. Without having to go through a narrow patch. I'm going to go through this side. Because he's only got three tanks defending there. So that's uh, a bit easier for me. And you can see he's, uh, those tanks that went up to the north, north to the right. And um, you can see he's brought them down. Just so they can destroy some more trucks as the ore trucks go past them. And it looks like I'm hopefully going to be able to get these tanks down into his base. He seems to uh, have missed that point there. And this is looking alright for me in terms of tank numbers. I do expect the green will join the fight soon though. So I'm going to have to try and do some damage. And hopefully get to destroy some of his base here. Because um, that's going to be the crucial thing to do at this point. And I think green, I can see him to the north. I think he was going up to the north to my base, maybe. Um, but I'll just have to do as much damage as I can here. And you can see that now green's coming down to help his teammate. And we're just going to try and get these three ore refineries down. And that will really damage his economy. And put me, hopefully, in a better position. Because as you can see, there's just a few too many tanks. I'm just trying to get down a little bit, but that hasn't really worked too well. And I'm surrounded, so I'm going to be losing these tanks right now. And you can see green has got quite a lot. And it doesn't look like Nose has done too much damage to my economy. Um, it seems like I've got most of those ore trucks still functional in the top right corner. And you can see green coming in again. With his uh, heavy and... Heavy tanks and missile launchers. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to group my tanks up here. Pull them back, group them up, get them in a big group and fight that way. I think that's the best way. It doesn't look like Green's following me. I think he's just really defending. As you can see, he's just moving into defensive positions. Which is helping me sort of a bit because I think sometimes uh, offence is the best defence. So if he, had, if he was trying to attack my base, because you can see he knows he's got three tanks, he's going straight up for my base. So I will need to defend against that. Because he also knows, and there's my teammate, he's uh, just warning me. Because knows knows, I don't, I don't have a... I don't have a construction yard anymore. So any buildings he destroys, I can't build back. And you can see Green coming in to defend his teammate again. And I'm just going to have to defend this and I can actually repair it this time because I do have um, some more. Although I've run out now again. But yeah, it was only three tanks so it wasn't too much of a big trouble. And I was pulling my tanks back at the same time because I don't want them to all lose, lose them all to green. Because obviously when you're fighting with tanks you do need to be there so you can like move and shoot. Uh, use, using the Q button as well. And as you can see, Green's amassed quite a big army at this point. So it's going to be interesting to see if he's going to attack or he's just going to keep on defending. And I'm just having to keep an eye out all of the time. Because I just need to keep an eye out for Cyan because I do think he's going to probably try and take some tanks around um, one of the back way or something. So I'm, that's why I'm just scanning the whole map um, just so I cover all points so I see that anything is coming. And as you can see, my teammate still has his war factory, although it's no use. 
because he currently has no ore. Now, I'm going to have to take this fight here. I'm not in the best position because I've had to go through that small gap. Um, so you can see I don't have all my tanks grouped together. But it's the only way because Green's not going to attack me at my base. Otherwise, I would have waited at the other side and let him come through. Um, as you can see, what I'm doing first of all is I'm going for the missile launchers because they fall apart after a few shots, whereas the heavy tanks are, have quite a lot of hit points, so they are a lot more difficult to destroy. So we've got rid of all the missile launchers, and now we're going to go for the heavy tanks. And you can see that Cyan knows is bringing some of his tanks into the battle as well. I think he's only got four at the moment. I think we did quite a number on his base earlier. And this has worked really well for us, because we've got that green army right down in size, because it was a bit... Uh, worrying at one point and um, because they did have such a big army and as you can see Nose is trying to rebuild his base at that point in that upper part so what we're going to do now is we're going to go for those two ore refineries because we don't want him to get to full strength again else it's going to put us in a hard position like we were a bit earlier on and you can see Nose is trying to take some of his tanks to defend but he doesn't have much at the moment and he's probably using a lot of his ore that he's getting just to build up his economy back up and there we've managed to destroy those two ore refineries. And um, so that's going to hurt him quite a bit at this point and hamper his uh, recovery. And we're just getting rid of all the buildings in this top area of his base. And now you can see my teammate signalling at that point. I think he's saying his ore trucks are going through there. Go and destroy the rest of his base. And we can see he's got an ore refinery there. So we're going to just try and get rid of that. Um, I'm going to have to just probably fight those tanks as well and you can see that nose has got an absolutely huge amount of ore trucks but i think at this point he's got so many he wasn't using them all because if he uses them all then they will get stuck especially on a map like this and i think or um nose is pretty much done at this point he's lost his well he's lost all of his ore refineries and what we're going to do is we're going to go for his construction yard so he has no chance to build up and you can see him there selling his construction yard i think he's just going to make as many tanks as he can now and just fight the remaining fight and you can see that green is fighting with him at the moment but his army has been whittled down considerably and um, since our last fight in the middle of the map and thinking about it, I haven't actually been to Green's base yet, so I'm just going to hope there's not a load of Tesla coils, because that will make it very, very tricky. On this map, if you want to defend somewhere with Soviets, you can put Tesla coils at the other side of those narrow gaps, and it makes it very, very hard for your opponents to get through. And as we can see, um, those tanks are going to go down, and I think Nose is out of the game. Right, so I'm just having a look. You can see I've ran out of a lot of ore near my base. Um, so I am on a sort of like timer because one of the big problems for me is I can't expand anymore because I don't have a construction yard. And I didn't build a service depot, so I can't build another MCV. Else this would have been the time to maybe uh, expand to different parts of the map. Well, actually, I should have probably done that even earlier than this if, I, if I'd been able to. But I did lose that construction yard quite early on. But my horse supply seeds still seem to be going okay, so that's all good for the time being. And at the moment, I'm just grouping my tanks, tanks together for an attack on the green. And you can see how much uh, war's been on there. It's, uh, the ground's all uh, destroyed. And it doesn't look like green has that much to defend. And you can, as you can see, I've got quite a big army coming right now. So we're going to try and go into his base. And you can see him bringing some heavy tanks up. But I don't think that's going to be enough. Heavy tanks are quite... Oh, he's actually bringing them through the gap. That helps me a bit. So I'm just going to... Yeah, I was trying to bait him there. Hoping he was, he'd bring all his tanks through. But uh, it doesn't look like he's going to do that. But I've got such superior tank numbers. I'm just going to go force my way through that gap. Um, if you've ever got similar tank numbers, you should never try this. But when it's in situations like this, it's absolutely fine. And you can see that those tanks are going down. And now it's just a case of destroying his base. There's not much he can do at this point. You can see his base is quite compact. He might have wanted to spread it out a little bit. Just get some of those ore trucks and ore refineries closer to the ore patches. 
as you can see I usually stretch out my bases it makes it harder to defend but you do have benefits in the long run and now it's just a case of destroying the base it's good game and he's surrendered right thank you for watching the video hope you enjoyed it